Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Privately owned Lanseria International Airport has significant development plans for the next few years. Rebecca Campbell reports. Lanseria is the smaller one of two international airports serving Johannesburg and Pretoria, the other being O.R. Tambo International Airport. Lanseria International is implementing a five-year capital investment program to upgrade and expand its facilities. Airport CEO Rampa Ramopo explains. The airport is sitting at a very uh, nice posi position in the sense that uh, we're coming from a very uh, small base, uh, small and I'm talking small relative to our uh, competitor who we see as a as a complementary business than a competition, OR, uh, in terms of numbers. And we are only 2 million passengers uh, per annum that uh, pass through uh, our airport. And in our projections uh, and the things that we intend doing in the next five years uh, say that uh, we would be at about uh, 4 million passengers uh, per annum. Then now that uh, in itself uh, implies that we need to look at uh, continued uh, infrastructure development. And the things that we're looking uh, for, for example, is the current multi-story uh, packet that we are constructing. Uh, we have already commenced with phase one uh, of that construction. We are about to start with phase two, which is going to uh, take uh, uh, another 12 months uh, to complete. And we're adding uh, additional uh, 700 base, uh, parking bays to our parking uh, footprint. It's very close to uh, the terminal bu uh, building. We, uh, and, and this is uh, obviously because we want our customers or our passengers uh, to always be very close uh, to the terminal building and ha don't have long walking distances from the parking uh, to the uh, to the terminal building and ultimately to the aircraft for their destinations. So uh, that's one of the projects straight after this one. Uh, we obviously with the numbers that we're projecting in the next five years, our terminal building uh, will be stressed. Uh, currently it can accommodate up to two and a half uh, to just under three million passengers. Now if we project uh, four million in, four, in five years time, it means that we have to do something uh, with the terminal building. Our plan is to uh, upgrade and extend uh, the building in order to accommodate the kind of numbers uh, we are talking about. It will probably happen uh, more on the west side uh, of the building uh, than on the east side because we've got uh, the space to be able to, to do that. And uh, other projects that we're talking about uh, is and that's also informed by the growth uh, that we are forecasting. Uh, the fuel for our fuel farm uh, is close to full capacity. Uh, we have to now uh, increase that capacity, but where the farm is situated doesn't give us uh, the ability to put in uh, additional infrastructure. So our plan is to relocate that farm uh, and also increase the, the capacity of, uh, of the farm, uh, where we're going to put it in. And with the profile of our passengers, it also uh, means that we have to look at uh, some kind of accommodation within the airport precinct. You know, so it makes sense for us to uh, look at the, uh, the hotel uh, business or at the hotel uh, infrastructure within the precinct itself. So that's also on our cards uh, and to a certain extent uh, office buildings. And of course, all of that uh, come uh, with uh, us looking at the existing airside uh, infrastructure. You know, we will continually upgrade uh, our taxiways uh, and uh, the apron, uh, as well as the road infrastructure within the airport precinct itself to allow for smooth uh, operations uh, throughout the years. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Reports. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.